It's go over the pump panel. This is a fully loaded pump panel on this B5 Chaparral. The only thing that's missing on this pump panel is your control for your generator if you had a fixed generator. Also what's missing is your choke. This engine does not need a choke because it's fuel injected. This is your tank level. Pump pressure. Pump controls. Indication of your calf system is on. Foam injection system. Foam transfer pump that transfers it from the container to the tank. Air pressure gauge. Air pre pressure control, it turns on the air compressor. Driver side whip line, yellow, yellow hose. Passenger side whip line, cross lay, green knob, green hose. If you had a blue hose, we'll change the colors or whatever color you need. Real red line, red, black, black tank fill, black tank. Now here's a standard pump panel. Tank, pressure, controls, cross lay, whip line, and tank fill. Let's talk about operation of this pump. This here, think of it as a lawnmower. It's very simple. This doesn't have a choke because it's fuel injected. You turn this on. Notice the red light comes on. It indicates your oil pressure. You lost your oil pressure. Bring your throttle out about halfway, and then you start your pump. Now notice when I start this pump, this light will go out because it means it's got oil pressure. Also, notice that your gauge comes up. You've got your pressure built. Okay, let's start it. Notice my pressure gauge has not come down. There is a check valve in here because this particular pump panel has a foam injection system. If it didn't have this foam injection system, then that check valve would not be in here and this pressure would come back down. Well, with that in there, say you get back there and this is up and you have the foam injection system, just crack a line, lead the pressure off. 